Hi, this is Jamie Davis from Light Reading, coming to you from Barcelona. So this afternoon, I've come over to Hall 6, and I've managed to get a couple of minutes with Hans Peter of Broder Schwartz. How are you today? I'm fine, well, thanks yeah. a lot. Good show so far? It's a very good show, very busy show, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, we've noticed quite, well, we've got quite a few people watching right now as well, so. Yeah. Um, a lot. Just to, just to kick us off, looking at Mobile Congress full stop, what are the big sort of themes and the challenges that you've seen in terms of, well, network testing in particular? Yeah. Well, I think the big challenges for operators nowadays is really to address the, the capacity demand. Yes. So that requires heavy investments into infrastructure. 5G is obviously in response to that. On the other hand, uh, a challenge is also the revenue stream. I mean, traditional services, the revenue is going down, we all know. So operators have to find new ways to get yes. the revenue back by implementing new services. And here I, I believe what we can see here is obviously IoT is a way to address that, to and, uh, get new, new services in place and to, to get new revenues. Another challenge is obviously also the differentiation to the competition, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, quality of experience is important to minimize churn, but the traditional um, competition in the past for an operator was always the other operator. But nowadays it's not only one operator to another operator, it's also on the services side. So OTT, all the top services, are competing with the traditional services and are removing revenue. So this is really a challenge for, for an operator to cope with all that. Yeah, yeah, of course. And obviously there's been a lot of change in the operator world. And I can imagine, you know, keeping with the times, you guys are changing as well. So what has been the response from yeah, from Rona Sports to make sure that you're really staying relevant. Yeah, yeah, we indeed we have to address exactly these three challenges which I mentioned before. So on one hand, we have to make sure that we help operators to be very efficient in testing and optimizing yeah, yeah. Their, their network. So we invested a lot in our tools to make them very efficient in terms of collecting the data, but also on the analytics side. So to get more efficient automated insights in the data you yes. we collect. Uh, on the other hand, obviously, with our tools, we also help the operators to address the new challenges they get with the new technologies, like rolling out 5G, rolling out IoT yeah. is not as easy as it sounds. So <laughs> with our tools, we help them to make that very, very efficient. Yeah, yeah. And third is uh, we help them to understand their positioning against their competition on the quality of experience. And again, not just between one operator and another, but also traditional voice services, for example, with all the top Skype, WhatsApp, and so on services, or uh, especially on video, which is still a very, very hot topic. Oh, of course, of course. And I mean, it's, it's, it's just a complicated marketplace at the moment, but I mean, bringing out your crystal ball, I mean, it's gonna get more complicated. And what, what are your sort of predictions for the future? Well, I mean, what are the big trends that you're gonna be keeping an eye on over the next yeah. couple of years? Well, especially on the testing side, I, I believe uh, we have to continue on the automation of the testing yeah. uh, because nowadays the complexity of networks is, is still getting bigger and bigger. So we have to automate more automated insights, big data, machine learning are, are key keywords on, on, on that. So at the end of the day, it's all about helping the operators to, to maximize the value of their investment into the network with as an efficient uh, process as possible. Perfect, perfect. Well, I really appreciate you taking a couple of minutes to chat with me as well. Thanks a lot. Perfect. <laughs>